Well, hello everybody and a very good afternoon, good morning and welcome to Crafters TV, start of a brand new week. And once again, the weather may be dull, maybe miserable, but it's certainly not dull and miserable in here. No, 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 we have got a stellar day, nay, a stellar week lined up for you this week with launches galore. I think this is going to be the biggest week of the year so far when it comes to your launches. The next three days, you need to be with us, you need to be shopping, and you need to be in super duper quick. Uh, today, as you guys know, because you saw the first look show um, last week, we are officially launching the Duet Color Bloom ink pads, which are going to blow your mind. Already you've been shopping for these. I will take you through all of the different options on these in just a few moments time, but get in early, because this is gonna be a biz biz busy day it is also the continuation final week of national craft month don't forget so once again we are giving you the opportunity to shop till you drop new code this week has been a new code each and every week last week we were concentrating on mixed media this week storage and i tell you what with all of the new goodies you're going to be buying this week you'll need some storage uh, so a great week to use that brand new code ncm storage it is multi-use all right so if you pick something up today and you see something else later down the line you can use it again standard t's and c's but 30 percent off selected storage with that code as i always say check out the designated page on the website if you're not sure whether that code will work, just stick it in at checkout. And if it will, it will. Uh, so all of that. But we're here with the brand new launch, as I said, of the uh, Duet Color Blooms. I cannot wait to show you these. I'll take you around the showstopper in just a few moments time. But let us say hello to the lady who is going to be showing you all around them. And there can be only one. It's like Highlander. There can be only one. And that one is the amazing, the brilliant, Leanne Chivers. Wow, what a build up. Thank you so much. I think I might be blushing a little bit. <laughs> I am thrilled to be here, I can't tell you. To be launching these brand new Colour Bloom pads to you is a privilege. I'm excited because I guarantee you, yes. you will not have seen this before in any other ink pad ever because we have created the technology it is incredible it's going to blow your mind the amount of techniques you're going to get from this is superb the color lay down but most importantly the different techniques the color separation that you could see in that board there wow. is effortless for you to achieve and there are beautiful colors in this collection as well so these techniques which would normally take you two or three ink pads to achieve one ink pad does the job and it does it quickly and effortlessly for you. These are quickly going to become the ink pad of your go-to staple for techniques, I promise. Uh, I, like you, I'm just so excited to see how all of this works, how we can achieve um, all of these amazing results, never been seen before. What are you waiting for? I know some of you haven't <laughs> waited because the showstopper uh, is already flying. If you just want the collection on its own, you can, but the showstopper is the main value for money, approaching 10% of the stock already gone. We're four minutes into the official launch. Here's your price. So uh, look at this, you've got your um, free shipping here. Of course, don't forget, if you are platinum, uh, of course, $104, £84, uh, so you're just shy of that free shipping, so <laughs> pile more bits and pieces into your basket. But the Showstopper, of course, brings you your 12 brand new uh, Duet Color Bloom ink pads, which will go around with Leanne in more detail in just a few moments' time. The Showstopper, for an extra £15 or $20, uh, you're getting £39 or $48 worth of goodies. So we're going to give you your four um, spray misters in there. Also, very handily, we're giving you 15 sheets of your watercolour card. You've got your 9 by 12 mixed media mat in there too. Uh, that is the item which is going to sell your Showstopper out. That's the, uh, that's the baddie, if you like. Um, so get in early on that Showstopper. And then we've also uh, brought you some of our blending tools. The round blending tool with the 10 replacement heads too. So all handy tools to work alongside uh, your new color bloom ink pads that's the way to go if you want best value for money and that's what most people are currently doing as i've said if you want the collection on its own you can um, details on your screen just here and you can also pick and choose should you wish to do that lots of things to think about but lots of uh, reasons to shop and of course something for each and every budget few quicker lows and let's make this nice and interactive right whilst we've got leanne here it is going to be all about those techniques showing you how you're going to get the very best out of these ink pads but if there's anything you don't understand anything you want to ask anything you want leanne to do again 
let us know and we will always do our very best to make sure um, you're going away with loads of ideas. We've got Radical Rachel on the socials. Already in is Kimberly Fisher saying hello from a sunny weeky watchy in Florida. Um, Liz R is in saying I'm excited for this show as is Laurie Barnett in Gilbert, Arizona. Christine Mahoney's in. Lynn from Indiana and Rose says I bought the new ink pads. Uh, from the store and Eve's show on Saturday. I uh, can't wait to see what you do with them so I can start playing. Jeffrey Langley is in and Laurie joins us saying good morning, Ben and uh, Leanne. I can't wait to get these home. Already ordered the ink pads. Let's get into them because I can see on my little monitor here, Leanne is lining up uh, things to show you. Um, I feel like I don't understand the science behind this and it all <laughs> looks like magic. Is it wizardry? Is it witchcraft? Is it, I mean, what is it, Leanne, for goodness sake? Well, it's just a very flippin' clever ink pad, <laughs> is what it is, Ben. Yeah. Uh, with all of the witchcraft and wizardry included, with a yes. little sprinkle of crafty magic in there. <laughs> um, it really is glorious, I have to say. Yeah. This board, I think, for me, really shows you what you can expect from this ink pad. And when I tell you that this is one colour, this is our Dusk Orchid ink pad. Mm -hmm. And all of these different <laughs> colours have come from that one ink pad. That's crazy. One ink pad, just go, could let me bring that in and show you. Yeah. There is the ink pad itself. All of the colours that you can see have come from that ink pad with the application of water only. It makes no sense to me. Uh, and it is, <laughs> it is that little bit of magic where yeah. I have to just ask you to trust the process, trust us when we tell you we've done the hard work, yeah. we've done all of the configuration, and we make it very, very easy for you at home. You've got all of the techniques here, and I'm going to try and get through all of these nice. for you over the next two hours so that you can understand how to do all of these things. But, of course, we're going to get into showing your techniques very soon before I do that I want to show you the colors that you've got in that bundle and then of course we've got the board that shows you the colors and you can see those different color separations for example hellebore there with the pink and the blue looks incredible yes pink grapefruit one of my favorites mm -hmm. pomegranate one of my favorites anemone I really love nebula I love just I love them all all of them yeah. all of them all 12 let's start with pomegranate okay um, and I'm looking for my pomegranate pile here where have i put it that's pink grapefruit we might do that first while i look for pom here it is pomegranate i've got it upside down so i can read it i've got some little techniques here to show you how pomegranate settles when we apply water okay so that really lovely hot pink through an orangey pink into a coral happens magically with the addition of water and you can see how intense the colors are and how beautiful the color separation mm. is in there to get those types of watercolor effects so that is your pomegranate if i then move to pink grapefruit which is this one this might be my favorite or one of look how gorgeous this is and i've got four different swatches for you here because i want to show you the subtle swatch yeah. which is where a subtle change from orange to pink if you're just doing a nice soft blend mm -hmm. but then look as we add more color and more water the types of effects that you're able to get with these will blow your mind and ben when i say you whack the ink on you whack some water on you dry it with your heat gun it's done it could not be more simple the ink pad does the hard work for you i'm still unbelieving of this until i see you actually do it. <laughs> <laughs> this is pumpkin patch. Yeah. Uh, if you want me to go quicker, let me know. Pumpkin patch is orange and yellow. So we can see, look at this. Look wow. at the colour change that you've got in that pumpkin patch. You can go from subtle and soft to real intense bang for your book colour. And all of that achieved with that one pumpkin patch ink pad. Incredible. Next one is summer bouquet. Uh -huh. Come to me, summer bouquet. Here she is. Um, and this is definitely a little more subtle. The reason I love this is this is like a soft, dusky pink yeah. that changes into a, like a coral yellow. Yes. So different to the pink grapefruit and the um, pumpkin patch before it because you've got those lovely kind of nebula pink stripes in there with that lovely warm gold tone coming through there. So that's your summer bouquet. Then if we go to Willow River... Uh -huh. Willow River is beautiful because you've got those fresh, verdant greens mm -hmm. into those lovely, soft uh, meadow yellows. Really lovely for your floral, um, your floral application when you're doing your inking. And you can see again, lovely and subtle, or real intense. Wow! Yeah. And all of the ink pads will let you do that. Mm -hmm. Shawl um, is another great one. 
where you've got turquoises. Now, this one is a little more subtle in the colour change. We've done that on purpose because if you're doing, for example, if you are buying, if you're in the market for Enchanted Ocean on Wednesday, oh, yes. and why would you not be? Because it is glorious. It's, I have to say, my favourite launch of the last five years. Whoa, okay. I make no bones about it when it comes to paper craft. That is it important because it's there set up for you to see on Wednesday. <laughs> is incredible. Wow. If you are going for your Enchan Enchanted Ocean on Wednesday with the very beautiful Debbie Fisher, this shawl you need it in your life. Uh -huh. You need shawl, you need nebula, you need dusk orchid is a minimum in your life to go with that collection, okay. let me tell you. Mm -hmm. Because you've got your beautiful deep seas, you've got your lovely turquoise blues, you've got your coral reef colours in here, the intense blue to the turquoise blue of the ocean. It's absolutely glorious. Then we've got Anemone. Okay. Uh, Anemone is a great one because that, for me, is a, if you've got your cosmic collection, oh, Anemone is going to go very well with mm -hmm. cosmic because you've got those pinks and purples that then release into a beautiful turquoise. And let me just show you, there is the ink pad and those are the colours that you get. It really is unbelievable. So that is your anemone. Mm -hmm. Now we've got nebula, Ooh, nebula. And I, I really wanted to take the time to show you these colours, Ben, because I think when you see these... <gasps> As I say, I'm still not believing this until I see you do it. Ben, How is that one You impact? need nebula in your life. If you buy an Enchanted Ocean, I'm adding nebula to the <laughs> must-have list, everybody. Don't be without it. Write it down. Look at those purples, blues and turquoises I coming out of there. Mm-hmm. It's absolutely incredible, isn't it? It's beautiful. So that is your nebula. Um, and then we've got Dusk Orchid, which uh -huh. I personally adore. And this was your Dusk Orchid that we seen uh, on the board yes. at the beginning of the show there. Uh -huh. So that is where your deep violet indigo purples uh, go out to that lovely, soft magenta pink. Really beautiful. So that's Dusk Orchid. Then we've got Stargazer. Um, Stargazer, where are you? That's it. Come there in, it is. Stargazer. Stargazer uh -huh. is a really lovely. I think Sheena would love oh, this one if you're a fan of Sheena Techniques. If you've got cosmic, you need this in your this, life. This is another one, yes. Another cosmic. one. The beautiful kind of orange rust pink in that deep purple navy in there, and they separate to make those colours. It's mind boggling, isn't it not? Uh -huh. It really is gorgeous. Your mouth's hilarious. Um, not that your mouth's hilarious, but what you're doing with your Thank mouth you. is hilarious. Not that, you're, not that you look odd with your mouth, Ben. Let me just qualify that for you. But uh, your face is a treat. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Your face is a treat, Ben. Uh, and then we've got Hellebore. Hellebore. Let's find Hellebore. Uh, one of my favourite flowers ever, I have to say. <laughs> oh. Come on. It's that middle card every time, because when I first saw these, I thought it was going to be like a, two subtle colours. No. But it's... Come on. Whoosh. It's... Ooh. 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 Yeah. Good. That's what it is. <laughs> <with> <laughs> <colour>. <laughs> 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 Come on. That's what it is with the colour. Yeah. Packs a punch, Ooh. Ben. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know if that's a very flattering thing to do, but there you go, I've done it. Uh, Rose Cloud, it's out there, it's in the ether, it's, it's gone yeah. live, I can't take it back. Uh, Rose Cloud is a beautiful soft, because, I mean, we've got lots of colours in there. We needed a nice little soft one too. Yeah, we did. Um, so we've got Rose ah. Cloud, which actually fairies, if you're into fairies and that lovely ethereal soft look, this is beautiful for that. So it's a lovely soft lilac through peachy pinky coral, really lovely. Uh, so that is Rose Cloud. They're all of the colours, Ben, that we've got, and all of those colours will do all of these and many, many more techniques for you. But how is the question you'll see very shortly indeed. If you're still a little bit unbelieving, if you're a little bit now, come on, she's pulling me leg here, stay tuned. You'll see everything that you need and more. Let me just tell you, this is going to go. 10% of the showstoppers already disappeared. We're 15 minutes into the show. It is so busy. And I've no doubt there was lots of you watching right now who was doing the same thing as me, this. That was me. Oh. 
like no ink pads you've ever seen before. Even if you don't stretch to the showstopper or the collection today, do yourself a favour, like Leanne said, pick and choose. If you've Maybe if you've got an eye on any of the other collections that we've got coming up this week, you can pick and choose ones which will go well with that. If you've got favourite collections already at home, pick and choose the ones which you think will benefit you the most. But if you've got the uh, budget to do it, my, my, what a collection you're going to be picking up today. The excitement is palpable. Uh, Ginger's excited, uh, getting ready to watch everything that Leanne's going to be doing. Um, Cindy Condy says, I'm a few minutes late and this is already flying out the door. It is, Cindy, it's flying. Uh, she says, I better get my order in. You better get your order in. Uh, uh, Carol says, good afternoon from Cornwall. I may just have to buy these. I have a funny feeling everybody will be. Uh, and Margaret Burt says, hi, Leanne and Ben. These look really good. I saw them in Saturday at Evesham, uh, but I didn't buy them yet. I'm waiting to see what Leanne does. Wow, says Jane, these are magical. Uh, and Jen says, showstopper purchased with more ink pad storage. Now I can sit back and watch the show. Yeah, check out the storage section on the website, NCN Storage. Use that code. Uh, you'll be able to pick up storage for your ink pads ahead um, of receiving these two. Very busy. Keep the questions coming in. Anything you want to see, anything you want to ask, let us know. We're going to make it super duper interactive, uh, but it is time to see, put these to the test, how they actually work, how easy is it to do. Uh, we are going to find out with Leanne um, in just a few moments time. And as I said, keep those lovely comments coming through. Lynn Morton just says, uh, so lovely to see Leanne. Isn't it lovely to see Leanne back in the studio? Um, and Carol G says, gorgeous. These are just magical. But let's find out, do we need a magic wand to make it happen? That's the question, Leanne. No. Good news. All you need is water. Yes. A paintbrush. Yes. And I've used a couple of different paintbrushes. I use a pointy one, a flat one, and the big one, uh -huh. depending on the technique. So paint brushes, let's yep. say. Your blending brushes. Yes. Doesn't have to be this one. It can be any blending brush you've got at home. A tool for applying ink, let's call it that. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't have to be those. Uh, and a bit of kitchen towel. That's, That's it. it. That's all you need. Wow. So we're going to start at the very beginning. It's a very, very oh, I'll tell you what you do need. Yes. Heat gun. Oh, yeah. You have to dry. Drying is the law yes. when it comes to this technique. Okay. So you must have a heat gun. Right. So I'm sure we've got them on our website. If you yep, don't already do. have a gun, most crafters do, but if you haven't, please get yourself a heat gun today. That's imperative. Mm. Okay. Um, now, first things first, let's do a little bit of ink blending. And I'm going to use the dusk orchid. I'm going to start with that. We'll change the colours as we go through um, the course of the couple of hours that we've got. And I'm just going to take it directly from the ink pad yep. onto my card. Card. What sort of card is it? Watercolour. Okay. All the time, Always. every time the law. Right. Good. Glad we got that out there. Yes. The absolute law. And the reason for that is um, you need the colour to move. Right. And you need it to move freely. Remember I've said all of these techniques are achieved via the application of water. Yes. And so therefore the application of water needs a proper cardstock and mm. that would be watercolour cardstock. Yes. So I'm just applying the ink in two corners and leaving it white in the centre. And I've saturated, so I've got quite a lot of ink on there. And you notice I was just using my ink pad for it. I have to say these ink pads very well packed with ink, they're juicy, so you can be able to use this for a lot of techniques. Mm -hmm. At that point I dry it. So stop and dry. Okay. And drying in between is really, really important. And thoroughly drying in between is really, really important. So I'll just hold that still yep. and I'll give it a good dry. The drier it is, the more impressive the result will be. So that's key. Normally with ink pads we're saying to you, move quite quickly while it's still open, yeah. aren't we? We're not telling you to dry it before you apply your water to get any technique. Whereas with this ink pad, drying it, first before the application of the water is key to getting a good result okay um and bought them packed bought them very excited to see leanne uh, and use these um and cindy says unbelievable these if i didn't see this i wouldn't have believed it came from one ink pad i know seeing is believing today but uh, grab them whilst you can. I think the more demos you see, the more techniques you see, the more of these are going to disappear. Right, I'm going to leave my drying there. I would have gone a little bit longer at home, but we're going to leave it as that for now. And then what I'm going to do is just take my large brush and then I'm going to brush along the edge of the colour. And then just watch and wait. You can already see. And you should already be able to see that pink yeah. coming out. Now, here, can you see it's a little more intense? Yeah. The longer you leave it, 
the more okay. intense that transfer of colour will be. Yeah. And what you can do is keep drying in between. Okay. And that's where you get those really intense effects that I was showing you earlier. So you can keep drying it in between, keep taking your brush and then wetting it. And what happens is the pink releases from the purple yeah. and starts to spread out into the base cardstock. Now, you do have to leave it and come back to it for it to be, because it releases. Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll put this to one side and then we'll come back to it and look at it. Okay. What you can do when it's dry is add more ink as often as you like to yeah. be able to get this to, to really move. So we will come back to it in a second. And notice I'm being generous with the water. Uh -huh. I'm not being um, frugal, frugal with it. But you can see that pink coming out there now, hopefully. I think that monitor might be a little bit light for me, but I can see that pink. Mm. I'm going to leave that to one side and we're going to come back to it in a second. Okay. While we're waiting for that to move, I'm going to show you another quick technique. So this one here, I've just got a flat, uh, smaller paint brush and I'm just going in and all I'm going to do is drag it down. Drag it down to make lines. Okay. I'll drag it down there uh -huh. and then I'll leave that to keep reacting and dry. The right. water will continue to react. If you feel you need like a little bit more, time and patience is something with these ink pads and then drying in between. You can so already see it well, on my screen. You can already see it reacting and seeing that other colour coming out. And there we go. And yeah. then we would let that dry. Uh -huh. It's better to leave it to dry by air than force it with the heat, heat gun, gun for this because it needs to continue as it continues that's what will happen mm -hmm. so you can see where you get those lines the shadows of the pink where i have dragged that paintbrush and it makes it really really obvious it's fantastic so that's how you would use it then i want to show you just very quickly before we move on to other things ben um embossing Ooh. so i've got an embossing folder here am mm. i going too quick for everybody by the way no not at all. We can always recap. We've got two hours, haven't we? I want to see more. Yes, we can. <laughs> Go faster. Go faster, Leanne. Go faster. Um, I'm just going to drag some of this pink out. Mm -hmm. I'm going to come back to my little swatch. You see how it's bringing the pink now? It's releasing it. And that pink is more obvious in the centre there. So you can just keep coming back with your brush. So that's the first one that you did that that's you sort of left one. to dry. You've now gone back and added more. Yes, just right. gone back and added more. Just okay. moved it around. I'm just encouraging the, the pink to release and yeah. to move around. Right, so now what I've got here is an embossed piece of watercolour card. So I've run it through the embossing folder. This is the pattern. I've already run it through and I'm going to use one of my other ink pads and I'm just going to do just gorget again because I've got one already and then I'll change colours so you can see different colours. Okay. So what I would do with this now is with my ink pad, let me just clean up some of this water. Yeah. With my ink pad is just rub that over the surface of the design. Okay. So I've got the ink pad completely flat. Mm. I'm not applying any pressure. I'm not pushing. I'm mm. just moving the ink pad around and what that does is pick up the surface of the embossed design and apply the ink to it yeah and you can see that purple color coming through and then i'll just turn it around and do the same down the bottom here okay so that's just picking it up no pressure no pressure at all just letting the ink pad graze the surface of the design mm -hmm. and then we've got that little pointy bit there haven't we so if there's some areas that i feel needs a little bit of detail okay. attention yeah I can go in with my pointy bit look and apply deeper colour ink in those flowers if it wasn't quite picking it up as I let the flower glide over. Yeah. So I can go in with the detail end of my ink pad without ruining the design. You can Perfect. see that happening there. Just in little areas where I think I need a bit more colour. Yeah. <clears throat> a bit more of the purple. The more purple you've got on there, the more pink it's going to release. Okay. So uh, if you are wanting really intense pink, you need all of the intense purple on there. Okay, so I'm just running that over. There we go. <clears throat> Once that's done, we dry it. Um, Cindy just message saying, I think these are my favorite speciality ink created by Leanne's amazing team. Um, Lynn's asking whether or not these are going to become core product. Sorry? Are these going to become core products, Lynn's asking? Um, so, core products become core if they're successful. Right. Um, and so, if these are successful and there's enough demand for them and you want to keep repurchasing, repurchasing them, then, then 
then that would speak for itself and they would become cold. Yeah. So basically, the pressure's on you. <laughs> You know, uh, if you want to become core, make sure you're shopping today, which I know <laughs> many of you are. These are already absolutely flying as we, uh, as we kind of thought they would because nothing of the like you've seen before. And um, even in the first 20 minutes or so, the amount of wows and oohs and ahs that are coming in, um, I think people are truly taken by this. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, okay I'll pause there. I'm going to say that's dry enough for now. And then I'm just going to take uh, a paintbrush again. I just spill some water there, so let's mop that up. Paintbrush again, and then all I'm going to do is okay. zhuzh around the design. OK. These paintbrushes are on the show as well, the um, Roland Langnickel brushes you can uh, pick up if you want to grab those. And you'll see the colour releasing. It's just starting to release now, yeah. yeah. Uh, and it will move and you can see it's more a little bit more intense in places and then what I like to do is just bring my heat gun in and just retard the movement of that water yeah so keep keep drying and you'll get more intense colors coming through you see that yeah and it's then you go so back with clever. more water yeah and so it is literally the application of water, Ben. Yeah. Let me knock that off for a second. And then come back. And we just keep adding a little bit more and adding a little bit more until you're happy with it. And then dry in between. You see there how I've gone back a second time. Look how the release of that pink, I'm hoping you can see that right in there is much more is much more intense mm -hmm. because we've got the second time where we've dried it and gone back in so the more often you dry it and then go back with water you release more of the intense color okay um good question from sally who says yeah is it best to apply with the actual pad or uh, will it work with the blending tools as well uh, it'll work with your blending tools as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm going to be doing some techniques with my blending tools too. So yes, uh, the brushes, the sponges, whatever it is you've got in terms of a blending tool, it will work. And for those asking, the embossing folder is from the Floral Meadow Spring Fairy. A few people have been like, ooh, where's that embossing folder from? That's I think it. this was Spring Fairy, wasn't it? Yeah. And then I'm adding a little bit more and drying it. And you can see the intense of the pink is picking up in, yeah. you can see there, in certain areas a little bit more. But what I want to do is show you, so I'm drying in between every one. If you put the water on and you leave it for a little while. I mean. That's what you get, and then you dry it. So you can see the two different results, depending on what you want to achieve. You can go subtle or not subtle. But with this one, once you've done that, if you want to add some more, you can. The, the great things with these is you can't do too much. You can keep going back with some more ink if you want to. It, and I guess a lot of it is kind of, um, we always say, it's having a bit of a play with it, right? And seeing mm -hmm. kind of, you know, how long you leave it before you dry it, uh, whether, you know, adding more than drying, adding more than drying, what kind of different effects that you can create. It's, it's having a play and seeing what works for you, isn't it, really? Depending on what effect you want to create and how much you want that second colour to show through, I guess. Absolutely. It's entirely up to you. It's your project. Um, so you, you choose how intense or not intense you want that colour to be. Mm. So you see, I would fully dried that, but now I've gone back with my ink pad and I've put some more colour in. And then I'm going to go back with my water. And you'll see that it'll really intensify in places, the pink that comes out. You just need to give it a second to do that. You can use your spritzer as well. Yeah. If you use a spritzer, the result is a little more subtle, uh -huh. uh, which is why I like to pounce the water on from a brush, because I like to be able to see the result. But that's personal preference. So if you do want it to be a little more subtle, then you can, of course, uh, 15% use a of the showstop has gone now, by the way. 15% already gone. Um, questions are coming in as well. We'll do some questions the other side of a, um, a break in just a second. So if you've got any more um, you want to ask about, you know, techniques, ideas, things you're not sure of, um, please do let us know. Lots of people with items in baskets. Uh, so we will give you opportunities to check out very shortly. Sandra says, I have to keep budget for the Enchanted Ocean, uh, so I can only get a few today, but we'll certainly come back for more. Um, yeah, individuals are there on the website and do take note of the ones that Leanne suggested for you with the Enchanted Ocean. 
at the top of the show. But look at this. I looked away at my uh, tablet for like five seconds, looked back. I mean, I, I, my head just can't quite great, compute what is going on here. Yeah. It's great. And it just is the magic in the formulation, Ben, that yeah. we've managed to achieve for you. And I think the great thing to notice is there, the purple isn't moving. Yeah. It's, the purple stays still when we heat it. Uh, and just the pink releases from inside the purple. And each of those colours. So you'll get your main colour, which will stay, and then a different colour, which will release from it when you add the water. And depending on how much water you add and how long you leave it will affect the intensity of the colour release. Right. See how that one's intensifying. I'm just leaving it to dry and yeah. it'll eventually end up like this. So we just keep adding more and we can add more ink if we want to too. And that'll really intensify uh, the results. Do you want a couple of questions now? Or yeah, we... why not? Okay. Um, Amelie Batiste says, these inks are amazing. I'm assuming that you can use the overlay sparkle pens or the shimmer sprays with them or is that a no? It's an absolute yes, please do. <laughs> because what you get, actually, if Tracy could get me a... Oh, there's one there, I can see it. We're okay. going to do it. A clear shimmer. Um, then with the clear shimmer, what you'll do is it'll give you sparkle, but it will get the purple to uh, release pink. So okay. you'll get all of the effects happening in one go. It really is. It, it's absolutely superb, Ben. It is. So you just keep adding and adding, yeah. and then it separates and gives you that result. I'm going to show you it with clear glitter paste. It's incredible with clear glitter paste okay. as well. We'll do both. We'll okay. do both. Um, yeah, more. Um, Liz R says, could you use these ink pads for the letterpress technique? Uh, uh, yes, why not? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um... And Sandra says, yes, I did listen to what Leanne advised and then ordered. So, Sandra, you've got the ones which are going to work perfectly with the Enchanted Ocean uh, collection, which is great. Uh, and Anne says, I've order, ordered a few of these uh, to see how I'm going to like them. My ink pad storage is nearing capacity yet again. Uh, we, uh, now, we are going to give you a chance to check out here because we have got many of you with your baskets unchecked. So if you're waiting for that moment, because this is one of those shows, isn't it, where you're watching and you think, I don't want to miss a second of what Leanne's showing us here. So we'll take a break. You're not going to miss a thing. Opportunity to get your baskets checked out. Fire any more questions. I must just mention too, which I didn't mention at the top of the show. More you comment, the more chance you've got of winning. We're giving away another goodie bag in this show simply for commenting. So... Um, ask a question, send us a comment, let us know what you shop for, and it could be you at the end of the show winning a uh, mystery bag. Uh, listen, in the meantime, let's find out more about Craig, but get your baskets checked out, and we'll meet you back here in about four minutes' time. I like to get up chill, relax, get a cup of tea, then get myself sorted. And if I'm presenter, I'll write all my notes. If I'm the demonstrator, I'll get my prep out, have another look at it, make sure that everything is the way it needs to be for the show, do the show. Then what I'll do is I'll grab something to eat, then have another look at the sheets again, making sure the next show's all good to go. Then we do that show tidy. I always like to make sure that the area is nice and tidy, either for myself the next day or whoever's in. Jump in the car, head home, I will quickly unpack what I need to unpack and then I get on that sofa as quick as I can. As soon as we go live, I love that within our live shows, I always get the butterflies. As soon as we get that countdown in our ear that we're just going live, butterflies kick in and within about 10, 15 seconds, I'm going. Butterflies have gone and we just enjoy the show. Early riser. Oh, shower in the morning. Tea. Oh, savoury breakfast. Masterclass. My mobile phone. Oh, anything with chicken. Currently, it is the weekend, blind and light, and it has been for about a couple of years, and I still love it. Uh, apart from jumping in the car, chilling on the sofa, watching TV.
Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. It's busy. It is busy. You guys are loving this. You're mesmerised. You're loving the magic. You're loving the hints, the tips, the ideas. Anything else you want to see, ask us and we will show you. Uh, there are lots of questions coming through. Thank you if you did check out your baskets there as well. Many people uh, have. And like we said, there's so many different options and ways for you to shop. The Showstopper collection is uh, so popular. Everybody wants to go, of course, for all of those 12 brand new colours. Well, I say tw 24 colours, really, isn't it? Uh, you're going to be receiving. Um, but you're going to get all of those extra goodies included in there as well. I think people are seeing well, you know, the mixed media map, that's going to come in handy with these. The watercolour cardstock, of course, that's going to come in handy, as is the blending tool with the replacement heads and those um, spray misters as well. You should be paying an extra nearly £40, $48 for all of that, but built into the cost of the showstopper, it's just an extra 15 or 20 uh, that's how your platinum price is then 84 pounds or 104 dollars that's also your price as well don't forget if you're brand new and you haven't yet shopped with us sign up to club inspire and you can get 20 percent off your first order today if you can't stretch the showstopper if you just want the new ink pads on their own then you can do that of course uh, the option there is 72 pounds platinum or 88 dollars for the full collection without all of the trimmings if you like and then if you decide actually there are a few colors if you want to take leanne's advice maybe and just pick out some colors that will work with the forthcoming collections that we've got or if you've got you know specific projects in mind pick and choose your favorite color bloom ink pads uh, because they are all available for you individually i uh, can't wait to see what else these ink pads can do says jackie schwartz who's placed her order uh, she says leanne you have been missed she has oh, she has that's so kind we Thank need more you. leanne we need more leanne <laughs> Start Thank campaign. you so much. Mm. Do you know what? I love coming to CTV because yeah. oh, it's just such good fun. The viewers are fabulous. It's mm. brilliant when we can bring you new products. It's really, it's just a lovely way to spend an afternoon, isn't it? And I love to share yeah. crafty experiences and That's different it. techniques and things like that. I just think it's a marvellous way of doing it. Mm. And being able to answer your questions live. Yeah. Where else can you do that? Exactly right. Um, right. So what I'm doing here is I'm just using... Um, the ink pad to get some colour straight down and then I'm using a blending brush just to bring that colour down a bit. Okay. Okay. Uh, so it's not the whole card and then I'm going to leave a little bit of white at the bottom too. Just on the subject of brushes, um, question from Rachel saying, can you use the same blending brushes you'd use for the duets or would it be better to give them their own set, these colour blooms? As long as you clean in between. Okay. And that's just, it never spritz the brush. No. Um, what you need to do is spritz the kitchen towel. So let me just show you, because I'm finished with that now and I'm going to do something else with it. So I'm, in the, I'm at this moment going to clean this brush. So let mm. me show you that while we're on the subject. Okay. So uh, a little bit of kitchen towel. And then a very light perfume waft okay. of water. Not a saturation at all. It's just a very light mist. That was only two little spritzes there. And then you just rub your brush onto the very slightly, not even damp to the touch kitchen pat towel. Yeah. And you see it picks off all of that surface ink, which then means if I go here now, look, no transference of ink, yeah. completely clean. So you can go between different types of ink pad and different colours of ink pad, doing it that way. And just be diligent about it. Have a piece of kitchen towel beside you, tiny little spritz, and you're good to go. Right, so I'm going to dry this now. Um, and then we're going to put glitter paste on this one. Oh, yes. I'm waiting for that. Um, I know we've chatted about this already, but it's always worth reiterating. Cindy says, do we need to always use watercolour paper for these ink pads? Yes. Um, I love it when we do the questions and then they can be answered with one word, and Leanne does. Um, 
I love that. I think you think pads would look fantastic if you had an accident with your water pot, says Zoe. Um, exactly right. I love a happy accident. Yes, <laughs> exactly right. No accidents here, just crafty intention. That's what that is. Crafty intention. Um, and Sally uh, it says, uh, I couldn't decide which ones to order, so I just decided to order the whole lot. Good for you. That's Best the way, way to go. go. Yeah. So I've dried that yep. um, and I've got some little bit... Have I got the right side? Repositionable adhesive on my stencil. Nope. Come on, stencil. It's because it's not fully dry. Let me just give this a little bend. I'm just going to get a piece of um, repositionable tape. Oh, that looks okay. like it's stuck. It'll do. It'll do. We'll get the idea. Yeah. I was just looking. I think we've got stencils on the show, but I thought we had that one, but that one isn't one of the stencils that we've got. But we do have some stencils on the show, should you need any more. OK. OK. So, once you've got your stencil down, your glitter paste, because there's moisture in it, is going to cause the reaction uh, with the colour underneath. So, you're going to apply your glitter paste. Right. And then as it dries, and I think you can all, you can just kind of see it there happening already in a couple of places, you can see, as I've applied that, that the ink is starting to move with the moisture from the glitter paste. That's just like an, that. Is that just like an iridescent? Glitter? Yes, yeah. this is, this is a snow angel. Snow angel, oh yeah, which, oh yeah. Which always makes me want to sing that snow angel to earth angel from Back to the Future. <gasps> I love it. Snow angel. Snow, Snow angel, angel. Will, will you be, be mine? Bo, 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 mm -hmm. Darling, I love you. Bo, 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 bo. Till the end of time. Bo, 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 bo. <laughs> <laughs> Darling. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, Johnny? <laughs> Did go a bit Christmassy, yeah. Oh, right, there we go. So we've got that applied and I can see some of the uh, reaction is already starting to, help, to work there. I've got a, a little example of this already finished because, of course, you're going to leave your glitter paste to dry naturally. Yeah. But I hope, mm -hmm. upon all hopes, I'm going to have to ask Tracy, I'm sorry, Tracy, for some water for this stencil, otherwise it's going to jigger the stencil. Thank you. Um, I just don't want to ruin the stencil. I want everybody to follow my good advice, the okay. advice I give everybody. Can I just show you that, though? Look, can you see the pink on the glitter there? Just around the outside. Can you just see? Uh -huh. So that shows you how the colour's releasing. There you go. You can see the pink that was releasing from the glitter paste, from that ink, as we go. Now, I'm going to lift this up and show you, because what you'll be able to see here on this piece is little halos of bright pink coming through isn't just it? Yeah. starting to come yeah, through. yeah yeah now that will continue to react and what you'll be able to see under here is you'll have dark purple all around the outside and then the glitter will get a pink undertone to it um apparently we want to get a better on a close oh right? yeah you can sure. hang on see it hasn't finished reacting i can see it here yeah and if i bring it over to ben you'll be able to see it the studio lights don't help. You can see a little bit of the pink there. Certainly but down the I bottom, yeah, you if can. If I show you this one... Uh-huh. This one. <laughs> Zooming in. Can you see how that's pink underneath? Yeah, you can. I don't top, know if yeah. the camera's showing you no, that you as can. well I as can see could. that on my monitor. So, underneath where the glitter paste was white, here's white glitter paste at the bottom. Of, see the full piece there? So, you've got your white glitter paste at the bottom, and then it goes to more of a lilac, and then up here it goes to a really intense pink mm -hmm. underneath the glitter where the purple is. And so, the colour releases with the application of that glitter paste. And I'm just going to bring this over to you, Ben, the one I've just done, because... Um, your camera might be better than my camera and I want you to be able to see don't get your finger in it It's wet. Okay, um, I want you, you'll be able to see that and just oh, let everybody yeah. know that I'm not fibbing No, you can't because I think <laughs> trying to get that to see on the camera can be tricky, can't it? Let's see if we can just do you see what I mean Ben? Yeah, absolutely We're just gonna see if we can just make that a little bit more visible for you. It, this is always the way and I, what I would say here is is like um, trust what we said previously um, when we've had items and we've said to you like oh it, it looks way better when you get it home and then you guys send us messages and say yeah absolutely that's the truth i just think sometimes you have to see these things with your own eyes before you really um get to appreciate 
not sure. That, I'm not. I mean, it's, that's so weird because I'm seeing it so clearly in front mm -hmm. of me here, and I, I genuinely believe that you're not getting the the best. Hmm. Can you see, you see the pink's really obvious in life, yeah. isn't it, with your eyes? It really is. It's all of the studio lights and the cameras. I would say to you, if however you're viewing this right now, tablet, phone, TV, whatever, if you are impressed by what you can see through your TV screen, times that by about 100 and you'll get what I'm seeing in front of me right here. Um, that, that's all I can say. It's absolutely <laughs> incredible, truly. Um, Jamie's saying it's probably the best the sort of best shot that you can see it there. They, they can see it in the gallery. So hopefully you're appreciating that and uh, being able to see that at home um, as well. I know certainly loads of you are. Um, Carrie's just said the glitter paste demo um, may be my favorite so far. Uh, Rosalind says, Ben, way ahead of you on the website, looking at the available stencils to use with this. Um, and whoever it was, who was it? Carrie asking about the uh, butterfly on the website. I think that one, I'll, I'll, I'll show it to Leanne um, in just a few moments time, but I think that is the same color of the ink pad that we've got on the board over there. What's the ink pad we've got on the board, Leanne, on the big board? The, uh, on the board is Dusk Orchid. Okay, so I think that's the Dusk Orchid um, that we've shown you there on the website, uh, Carrie. It is. It is. There you go. That was very... It was. It was, it is. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is. Few, uh, we're coming back for some more. A few people asking. This is a good question. Yeah. Um, Evelyn, and, and I've seen two or three people ask. Could you lay down two colours together and yeah. then achieve? Yes. Ah. Yes, you can. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> yes. yes, you can. Is the answer to that? Okay. Most certainly. What's that? Most certainly. Most certainly. Okay. That's good news. Um, and I think we are um, up to date as far as the questions are concerned. Oh, Karen is asking, I wonder what would happen if you use these on a heat embossed area? Would the colour move? What would that look like? There you go. It looked pretty cool as well. Oh, my goodness me. That would look amazing. See, it looks fantastic. Yes. I'm going to ink it. I've got some heat embossing powder here. I'm going to try and do that for you at some point in the next two hours. Okay. I'm just going to get some shimmer spray on this because uh -huh. um, I don't have a sample of that. And I thought, do you know what? Why don't we have a look and see what it works like? Yeah. And then we'll know at home it works or it doesn't. Well, I haven't it... tried this, so I don't know if it's going to work. We're here for you, aren't we? We're here for you. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm very willing to try. Yeah. So I have got here the Bella Luna White Silver. Mm -hmm. Any of the shimmer sprays in clear would do the job for you. Actually, that might be... Because this is gold. Bella Luna. I'm back on. I'm off my step on my step. Because this is a warm colour. Yeah. Oh. Go on. I don't know which one to use. Um, I'm going to use the silver. I might then have to do a gold one just to try. Well, you've got time to try both, haven't you, to be fair? Right, so... Oh... It hasn't been washed. <sighs> you can't get the blooming colleagues these days, you can't, can, you? <laughs> can you? You can't, can you? Eh? Hey? Can't get the colleagues. You can't get the colleagues sometimes. Yeah, this right. is why you need the showstopper as well, because you get in this mixed media mat that Leanne's currently using in your showstopper. Handy to have those little um, those little pods uh, to pour your ink into should you need. 20%, uh, I'm just hearing now, the showstopper gone. Very, very busy for this. Um, right. OK. We're back in. So I've just decanted to the mixed media mat, and I'm going to... <laughs> <gasps> Oh, this is exciting. Right, I think this is going to be good. So I'm going to leave that there yeah. for now and mix some colour and I'm going to dry it. I'm going to put some more on, bear with. We will try, I'm getting um, requests coming through. We'll try and do as much as we can uh, in the second hour. I cannot believe an hour of the show has nearly disappeared. But as much as... Um, You've seen on that first board, we will try and do over the course of the second hour. Cindy says, can you please demo two different colours on one piece of paper? We'll certainly be doing all of that for you as well. So I think this white silver 
is not the best colour okay. for this technique. So I would say if you've got one of our iridescent rather than the white silver, use that instead because that looks messy to me. I don't love that. That's not filling me with joy. Okay. So I would want to do that again, but just with water. Mm. And in fact, we're going to do that so you can see the colours move. But if I just add a little bit in here, you'll see that that pink starts to separate. Can you see immediately the colour separating? Oh, yeah. There, which is amazing. And I'm going to do this colour again while we have a little break. I'm going to say the shimmer spray out of a brush, no. No. But if it was spritzing, maybe. However, you just need one of the iridescents. Now, you should be able to see the bright pink halos there forming Absolutely. on top of there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do another little bit of card bed in that colour with the technique that I was doing. We're going to ignore the shimmer spray thing. I think possibly not. Glitter paste, yes. Shimmer spray, maybe not. OK. okay. But it's good to try all these things out yes, for everybody. Yes, it is. Mm. Um, right, keep the questions coming. Remember, the more you chat, the more you ask, the more you, um, you know, comment away, the more chance you've got of winning our little um, our goodie bag. Someone will win that at the end of the show. Uh, the mesmerising glitter paste stencils. I know these have proved very popular. It says a six-piece collection, but that actually is a lie. Uh, well, it's six, it's six to the point that you're getting six packs, but in each of the packs, you're getting three stencils. So you're actually getting 18 stencils in total, launched with the mesmerising glitter paste. So you get the... Um, um, three sets where you get your eight and a half by eight and a half large stencil and then you get your um, icon and then you get your border stencil as well this one's beautiful the geometric decor um, real big fan of that sort of um, Greek key design that you've got and then you've got that beautiful um, icon included in there too then I think probably my favorite of the larger stencils is the sun rays I mean how stunning is that and again how much fun are you going to have mixing your color bloom ink pads with these fantastic stencils maybe even with the color that the Anne's using right now this would look incredible this is all about the sun rays you've got the big uh, eight and a half by eight and a half then you've got your sun icon and then that beautiful border strip two and then you're also going to receive within your set your laurel leaves and again all about the beautiful foliage big kind of uh, background stencil there with your border and then the sort of leave icon included in there so that's your first set of nine and then you're going to get your well these are pretty much eight by four in size here um three sets of each so you've got your contemporary trio that one actually is going to work really nicely with your sun rays that i just showed you a few moments ago but then you've got sort of like a rick rack design in there and you've got your stars included in there too your elaborate trio is more about the sort of uh, swirls, uh, vintage designs, elaborate designs, if you like. And then you're also going to receive your three pack of uh, the interlacing trio, which is beautiful, uh, decorative, detailed designs that sort of um, interlock as well. And again, those are the three, which are eight by four in size. So as you can see there, you're getting, yeah, 18 stencils actually for 36 pounds or 44 dollars plenty of other um, stencils available for you on the website as well but those you will find on the shop the show page everything actually that you need as far as getting the best out of this collection is concerned if you go to the shop the show uh, we, we've got the misters on there we've got brushes um, we've even got the mat available on its own but if you decide well actually um, you know, I, I want all of those bits and pieces anyway. If you were going to go and get yourself that mixed media mat, if you were going to get more watercolour card, if you were looking for blending tools as well, you may as well just jump in and get the showstopper because you'll get all of the bits and pieces that I've just mentioned, but you won't pay the full price for them. So that's the absolutely the best way to do it. Showstopper brings you all of those brand new uh, duet um, colour bloom colours with your anemone. You've got the beautiful shoal, stargazer, the rose cloud, hellebore, the summer bouquet. You've got your pomegranate pumpkin patch the pink grapefruit nebula the willow river and dusk orchid so all of those are included we'll have a look at all of the colors again in just a little while in full detail and then you've got everything else that comes with it so your mixed media mat 9 by 12 mixed media mat which is the one which Leanne has been using right throughout the show so you can see the benefits of having that within the showstopper misters again which are going to come into their own four of those included two well i say two you've got your round blending tool and then you've also got the 10 replacement heads to go with that as well and just tucked in behind there you've also got your watercolor card 15 sheets of that which is the only cardstock you will ever need as far as this collection is concerned 84 pounds 104 dollars and of course if you want to go for the collection on its own 
and indeed the ink pads on their own also available as individual items a brilliant show so far says jules and have to and have to and to have Leanne showing what these ink pads can do is magic. And the Crafting Queen says, it's interesting how people see things differently. Um, I really like the results of the glitter spray with the brush there, Leanne. Uh, it'd be interesting to see once it's had more time to react. So, oh, I'll yeah. just put it in the bin. Let me oh. get it out. <laughs> <laughs> well, Crafting Queen on here absolutely loves it, Leanne. So don't put yourself down so much. I've put it, it in the bin. Yeah. I've put it out the bin. <laughs> <laughs> I put it in the bin, I was like, don't like you, yeah. you can go in the bin. And I, and I kicked my heat gun over as I went. Um, oh dear. I, well, I quite like it, to be honest. I mean, it's all right. Yeah. But, but, but did you know, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Exactly right. Exactly beauty right. is in the eye of the beholder. I have just rubbed some of that same colour ink onto this piece of watercolour because I was messing about and I did this. And I was, <gasps> yes. and I went, what? And then I thought, I've got to show you. you do it now. I'm doing it now this Come minute. Come on. Hurry up. So I'm drying it. <laughs> so drying is the key. Drying is the key. Yeah. Because if it's not dry, the, the beneath, so here's what happens. If it's not fully dry, the, the colour that's hidden will not release out. Because what happens is both colours move and they mix into a new colour. So you don't see that release of the, of the secret magic hidden colour. Does that make sense? Yeah. So we have to get this base colour absolutely dry to allow the reveal of the hidden magic encapsulated colour. Gotcha. Got, okay, got it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, so you see, that's why I'm really going to town with a heat gun. Usually when we're doing these techniques, we can stop when it's still a bit wet and get away with it. But for this, it needs to be dry as a bone for you to get the good result. Okay, now I've got my spritzer. Are you ready? Bated breath. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> you can tell when Leanne's excited because she starts making again. funny little noises. I know, I'm so excited. Oh, ready? Yeah. Hang on, I'm not even spritzing at the piece of paper. That would have... <gasps> <gasps> oh, yeah, Look. here we go. Can here we go. Here we are, then dry it. Yeah. Yes. That's showing brilliantly. Look at that. How good's mm -hmm. that? I love this. This is pink grapefruit. Pink grapefruit. Okay, I was just looking around. Look how colour. gorgeous this is. Yes. The release of those colours. To get those background effects, it's incredible. And then once you've done it, you do it again. Oh. And it'll release more. Look. Yes. How gorgeous it is. And then just chasing those little rivers of colour with your heat gun, you get these beautiful, beautiful background effects. Doing these as little background pieces and then putting a sentiment on or stamping some silhouette stamps over the yeah, top of them. Yeah, I love that idea. Or heat embossing over the top of them. Look at this up here. This is absolutely incredible. It really is so, so satisfying, Ben. And you can see how intense some of that colour is that pops out. And I'm presuming it's intense for you because it looks good on my monitor and my monitor is not a good monitor. Um, so there we go and you can keep going and doing some more to really intensify it and by doing some more i mean you can add more color oh oh has that gone on my blouse no <laughs> um so you can add more oh and i'm going to be quick and then dry it oh we can do oh hello we can do more. it's gone in the bin again are we we can do more in the second hour because we've got tons more to show yeah. you in the second we'll hour. We'll do this again with a couple of other colours because yeah. I think this really does show you. And I'll show you with some stencils. And then go in with your spritz again. Look. Honestly, it's so, yeah. It's so satisfying. Look at that pink separating from that beautiful orange there for that pink grapefruit look. These background effects are incredible, Ben. I'm sure you'll agree. Oh, my goodness, me! They are. They're fantastic. And uh, more and more people telling me that they're shopping for these. Kylie Schaefer says, love the inks. Just got my showstopper ordered, along with a few other goodies. Uh, Stephanie's ordered, said, I can't wait to play with these. Um, and the, the comments are flying through. Loads of questions as well, and we will uh, tackle more of your questions and do more of your requests in the second hour of the show. But what a launch so far. Been absolutely amazing. Welcome 
if you have just joined us it is hour two of our fantastic launch of these amazing duet color bloom ink pads they are phenomenal you guys have well totally had your minds blown i think over the course of that first hour more to show you if there's anything that you saw in the first hour that you want to see more of feel free to get your requests in any more questions i know i've got a few lined up still to um throw at leanne but anything else that you want to ask feel free to do so uh the showstopper proving the most popular uh, just to mention as well i know we've we did mention a little bit earlier on but we are in the last week can you believe of national craft month march being that month uh, and we are giving you codes each and every week for you to be able to get the very best out of the crafty goodies on our website so this week it is all about storage um so ncm storage is your code you can use that to pick up 30 percent of selected storage items on the website there's a designated page but again if you're not sure just put that in at checkout and it's a multi-use code as well so you can use it more than once throughout the week standard t's and c's and all that and then later on in the week i think on friday we've got a master class um all things storage so again do make sure you look out for that but everyone's chatting about the color bloom ink pads whether you're going showstopper whether you're going just the collection whether you're going individuals and picking and choosing these have been phenomenal more of your questions but for anyone just joining us leanne um talk us through these and how we're able to create what you're showing us on the boards here these are our brand new ink pad band color bloom they're called color bloom because they're a color and then they bloom into another color because we've got two beautiful effects in here these are really magic everything you see on this board done with one ink pad so one ink pad the purple then releases that beautiful magenta pink um, and it is the magic in the formula that does that for you i'll show you that as we move through this next hour these are the different types of techniques you can do with them there is all of these very easy the only one that's used something else is this one with a glitter paste and this one with a heat emboss everything else is a stencil a stamp and embossing folder very easy for you to achieve at home it's a simple application of the color drying it then adding some water to release that secret hidden color yeah. within the ink pads that do this for you you will not have seen this anywhere else anywhere before uh -huh. because this is a brand new concept designed by our chemists to bring this to you um, and normally the results that you've seen there and the results that you will see would take you two three four ink pads to achieve with color bloom and that technology it's one ink pad for all of that technique for you which makes it very achievable and easy for you to do at home mm -hmm. most importantly but also the results are absolutely incredible and the fun you can have is brilliant of course but what it does do is bring to life all of those things that you've been collecting for years at home so all of your stencils all of your folders all of your stamps your dies for example imagine die cutting a word and doing this on it oh. i need to do that that's going to look exceptional mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so all of the things that you've been collecting at home you're going to be able to use with these ink pads and it's going to bring new and fresh technique and life to them um, and revitalize some of the stuff that you've got in your stash i just think ben that they're incredible yeah, they really are. And I, I know a lot of you are seeing comments coming in of people who pick these up um, over on HSN. If you did, like Joe, um, pick these up and you've already started using them, do feel free again to send us in pictures uh, as to what you've done. We would love to see the ways that you've been using them and the kind of uh, color combos that you've been able to create as well. Uh, Kylie's got her showstopper um, uh, uh, basket uh, checked out um, and sparkly Sue says amazing demo so far thank you so much we will tackle all of the questions coming in but listen if you want to go for that showstopper it's all of the brand new colors which we'll look at in more detail with leanne in just a second uh, brand new you've not seen anything like these before not even near not anywhere else uh, and you're getting all 12 of those ink pads within the showstopper the showstopper itself brings you all of the added extras as well so for 15 pounds or 20 dollars extra you get everything here and again and we've kind of thought about this we've created a fantastic showstopper bundle mixed media mat you've seen leanne uh, working with hers over the course of the show that comes to you in this bundle alongside the watercolor cardstock which is what you're going to be needing to get the best results out of these and then alongside that we popped in your four pack of misters and then some blending tools as well so you've got the round blending tool with the replacement heads and then 10 replacement heads to go with that as well so you're kitted out you're good to go there's other bits and pieces that you can pick up uh, on the shop the show but this is kind of everything that you'll need uh, and what a great price you see you're saving look at your platinum price the majority of you are 84 pounds or 104 dollars and again if you are picking this up today and budget allows uh, if you're in the us 
you, you're going to be um, adding a few more bits and pieces in, aren't you, to get yourself uh, up towards that free shipping. Maybe you can shop the uh, storage section on the website uh, and save yourself an extra 30% off goodies there too. If you don't want to go for the showstopper, the collection is available for you as an individual. And I know that option's proving really, really popular as well. Depends what your budget lies, but listen, let's be honest, you're going for one or the other, aren't you? You're going for the showstopper, you're going for the ink pad collection on its own, or as I've seen a few people commenting, you're picking and choosing. You're getting a couple, you're getting three or four of these, the ones which you think will work uh, best with what whatever you're working on now, or what with uh, you know lo new launches coming up uh, down the line. Maybe you're thinking about that Enchanted Ocean and getting colors to work with that. Uh, you do you, but get these as fast as you can and get them checked out. More questions to come, um, and a few people asking actually, can we see the colors? Let's do that now um, with Leanne. Let's uh, take us through the colors, Leanne. Right, so here is the board with all of the colours and then I've got some little swatches to show you because these look great and you can see that bloom of colour mm. but I think when I bring in these little swatches yeah. for you this is where you really get a feel. So pomegranate has that beautiful orange but the cerise pink so you've got that lovely cerise pink with a release of that beautiful coral orange in there. Look at the difference in those, it really is incredible. So that's pomegranate. Then we've got our pink grapefruit. That's the one I was just using in the previous hour. That's the piece I did in the previous hour. But look, it just depends where you apply the colour, mm. how you apply the water, and there the results that you will get. You can go from really soft and subtle to using them to stamp and release ink from for doing yourself something and then all of the results in between. So it will release the colour for you. Yep. So that's pink grapefruit. Then we've got pumpkin patch. A uh, pumpkin cat patch is a really impressive one. So it can be subtle. Yeah. It can be really intense wow. too. And they look really, each one of these small things, completely different. It really is beautiful. You've got that deep pumpkin orange releases into a lovely kind of sunshine yellow. Then we've got summer bouquet. Summer bouquet is truly beautiful because it's a lovely soft pink and a lovely soft lemon in there so that does feel more like uh, like a hazy summer evening you're on red sky at night shepherd's delight that mm. kind of thing really looks beautiful uh, for that then we've got willow river uh, willow river is a beautiful verdant green with pops of kind of a luscious lime green yellowy lime green in there really gorgeous jules is thinking of using that with the spring fairy she's oh saying. spring fairy will be beautiful for mm. that absolutely shawl this one if you're buying enchanted if you're buying your enchanted, enchanted ocean, ocean on wednesday yeah. you need shawl in your life most popular individually i'm enough. not surprised because enchanted oceans on the way and yes. it's a gorgeous collection wednesday. um you've got your turquoises your sea deep sea blues your coral looks in there your light turquoise your blue turquoise your green turquoise it all releases looks absolutely glorious that is your shawl then we've got anemone uh, anemone again is brilliant for your enchanted ocean yeah, or be. for cosmic when we did cosmic mm. so you can see those beautiful violets pinks and turquoises that release out of that ink pad it's incredible uh, then we've got nebula nebula again brilliant for enchanted ocean if you're going for it um, when you when it comes to you on wednesday you've got that beautiful purple that releases this vibrant cobalt blue looks absolutely incredible it really does um, and i really really love that one myself i think we might use nebula oh, yeah, in the next not? demonstration or mm. one of because it's just gorgeous uh, then we've got dusk orchid one of my favorites uh, this is the dusk orchid so that's what we've done this board with. So you can see you've got that lovely, deep royal purple releases a magenta pink. And then we've got Stargazer. Um, where have I put it? Here it is. Oh, no, that's the book here. Stargazer, where are you? Come in, Stargazer. Here it is. There we go. Stargazer. I uh -huh. love this. This is so moody. Mm -hmm. it, it really feels like... Um, the cosmos it so does. if you've got the cosmos collection it feels nebula yeah. it feels like there's explosions and things going off in the sky that you don't really know it's just oh my goodness i look love this one so that is uh stargazer uh -huh. then we've got hellebore Ooh, yes. one of my favorite florals of all time hellebore is this lovely uh, deep rich plum violet with that pop of real like coral orange, That's ready orange. That's sort almost of, um, cosmic-y as well, it's isn't it? It's cosmic-y as well. If you've got the cosmic collection, mm. it's going to be brilliant for that. You can go subtle, 
and you can go full on yeah. whichever you prefer fire um and then we've got rose cloud which is a really lovely soft color change actually uh, and i think that's lovely for little fairy collections or that kind of thing it's a beautiful soft change where you've got that lovely rose pink and then it goes to that lovely kind of rosy orange color warm color as well with bits of violet in there too to be fair so a uh, really lovely color but more soft they're the 12 colors you've got and very very easy to use as you said in the previous hour but we'll we'll look at it again now there's so many questions coming through so do you want a quick fire through those, i don't mind do yes think? um and then we'll get on into it so um i don't know if we've done this one but we'll ask it anyway laurie says can we use embossing powder on these inks yes mm -hmm. uh, oh hang on I've got to qualify that question. Okay. Do you mean, will it stay wet to take the embossing powder? No. Mm. Can you use your uh, watermark ink pad on the top with heat embossing? Yes. Right. Because you have to dry them to get it to work. Yeah. So therefore you dry it and the powder wouldn't stick. Margaret says, can you use on stamps to stamp up cards or would they not work as well? Yes, you can. Yeah. Sarah. Can you stamp with waterproof ink pad or other ink pads on top of the Colour Bloom ink pads? Yes. <laughs> Can you use foils and or hot foil press over the ink? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you. you can. <laughs> um, and Ginger Bailey, I think this is the last one for now that we're up to date. Can you ask Leanne about using gilding flakes on top of these? Oh, yes. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Whoa. Yes, please. Yeah. Oh, can you imagine? <laughs> can you imagine? <laughs> can you imagine on there just spotting some glue and then little uh. dubs of flake just <sighs> river through? Yeah. <sighs> yes. Yes. Um, <laughs> uh, then there's a couple of comments and we'll start looking at all these different things we need another hour really don't we uh, Peggy says when I first started card making with Crafters Companion I didn't realise I would be getting great colouring alternatives these are so amazing says Peggy thank you Peggy and Kathy Meyer says I don't think that I have ever got so excited about ink pads as I am right now Keep the questions coming. Anything else you want to see, let us know. Remember, the more you comment, the more chance you've got of winning the uh, goodie bag, which we'll do in around about half an hour or so. But uh, let's get back into it with Leanne. Um, I've lost track of what you're going to show us now, to be honest, with all the excitement. So we're going to, I'm going to do some stenciling this time because I thought that would be nice to have a look at. And I'm going to do it with two different colours. So we're going to do it with Nebula and then we're going to do it with our pink grapefruit as well. Um, and two different effects and you'll be able to see the difference yeah. okay so i'm going to start with nebula so i've just got one of these lovely floral stencils and this was from the meadow flora set that we did which is those should you be wondering yes okay and i'm using the floral from that one then i'm just going to tape my ink pad i would be taping this down at home and i would also be using a little bit of repositionable tape to keep it still i don't have the time so i'm just going to crack on i'm using my little eggs this time because i want the intense color to go through okay the uh stencil so i really want that color to get through there so you can see i'm holding the stencil down so it doesn't move well, if do i little, get a little um, bit of finger daubers work as well the finger daubers would work mm. if i get a little bit of movement i'm sure you'll forgive me but I'm just getting the floral pattern down for now. And then I'm going to clean the stencil and do it again with another colour so you can see it. Oh, actually, I'll just use a different stencil. Okay. Why not? That'll make life easier. Um, and then once I've got that down, then what we need to do is dry it. Uh -huh. So when you've done that and you've got all of that ink on your little egg piece there, mm -hmm. what I like to do, Ben, is with a scrap piece of card clean off my egg okay and just you know make just you're getting all the ink off Save it for another day for another day but then what we're going to do is make a background with this piece ah, for a sentiment or something like that okay. because we can just leave that to dry mm. and remember i said the drier it is the better it works yeah you could put that in a box and come back to it in a week later oh fine 
and put your water on and it'll work yeah. because it'll be dry. Mm -hmm. So uh, don't worry about having to use this immediately. It just means you can come back to it for a technique later. Yeah. Okay, so I've dried off that egg. It means I haven't wasted any of my ink. And I'll come back to that in a second. Uh, let's remove this and now I'm going to dry the stencil. Um, whilst we're doing that, we can say hi to uh, Amelie, who says the colours of these inks are spot on for so many occasions. But I'm going to have some fun playing with them for summer themed cards. Yeah, I think you've got a lovely um, array of colours, haven't you? Like you said, for all occasions, but absolutely summer. I mean, there's so many colours in there, uh, which would fit perfectly into that category. Uh, Donna Yam says, good morning. Hello, Donna. She says, I've missed the first hour, so I'm looking forward to this hour. You can always go back and watch, but yeah, um, loads coming up in the next 45 minutes. Uh, and Cindy says, I have to say, I used to order from several craft companies. I have now gone nearly exclusive with Crafters Companion because they have everything I need. Yes, we do, and stuff that you can't get anywhere else as well. Mm. See, that's why you stay with us, see? Um, and thank you for the questions coming in. Three more, which we will um, tackle with the end in just a few moments time. Keep asking, I'm loving it, because the more you ask, the better uh, you know, you're gonna get out of these when you get them home, start trying them and you start playing with them. Um, out of all the ink pads I've seen and got, says Jules, these are by far the best ever thank you leanne for bringing something new <coughs> and unique for us to play with and a great fabulous artwork well thank you that's really kind of you um okay so now i'm going to this is nebula i think this was nebula yep so now i'm just going to spritz this <laughs> <laughs> and you see the color come out how fantastic is that yeah. it's so good isn't it it the really is, is amazing. and then it just i mean it's incredible Oh, so oh, good, the camera's blown up. That was so good up. that uh, <laughs> that Jamie lost his camera. It right, is. so you the can do that. The camera fell over in aberration. The camera fell over. So that's <laughs> in that colour there, which is absolutely glorious. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just going to clean up a minute. Uh, so you've seen how quick and easy that was. Mm. And that's the one that releases. I don't think that is in a, a nebula, you know. I think that the wrong lid's being put on the pad. I think that is shawl shawl and i think that is nebula okay yeah but we'll come back i'll check those in a second but anyway you've seen the release of the color which is absolutely gorgeous mm. i'm going to do it on another piece in a different color so let's use a different stencil so i think it'll be good for you to see that so let's just do it okay. with this um, one whilst you're putting that down uh, up for a couple more questions of course amelie says i've been in and out um has leanne said whether or not you could use these inks on mdf um, do you know what? I haven't tried that. Mm. Um, I think on MDF, because it's a brown... If you guess ordered, it, yes. Right. Um, so if you guess it with white, absolutely, they'll work on any non-porous surface. But when it's, a, when it's brown underneath, it'll yeah. interfere with the colour. You yeah. won't get the vibrancy. So if you are um, guessing, yes. Okay. And Evelyn's just asking, could you use a paintbrush with these to get smaller detail? Yes. Hmm. Um, Beverly says, how would you get gilding flakes off a stencil? How would you get a uh, sticker, stick away? Oh, yes. Stick away, stick away. Uh, I think we're all good, questions wise. Thank you, everyone. Keep them coming. Enjoying this. <laughs> I've just looked at the clock. We've got 40 minutes left on the show, by the way. 40 minutes so questions keep them coming anything else you want to see let us know um, and we will certainly do that for you but more important than that do get those baskets checked out we'll give you more opportunity uh, to do that in just a moment's time so you've just taken the ink off your sponge again then there I have you? yes just yep. to use for a background later on yeah where have I just put that stencil oh it's there I'll clean that in a minute I'm making a right mess and I'll be in so much trouble hey that's all right right let's dry it okay so uh drying is key to get a good result you need to dry in between each technique um because the drier it is, the more obvious the release of the colour is going to be. Have you got a favourite colour or a favourite couple of colours? If you were like pushed yes. to maybe just get a couple or three, what would you go yes. for? Yes, so if I was going to pick three, yeah. I would go for um, pink grapefruit. Yeah, oh yeah. Because it's a nice pinky orange. Mm -hmm. I'd then probably go for dusk orchid because that's a nice pinky purple. Mm. And then I would likely go for either nebula or shawl. Okay. This is a nice greeny blue. And then I've got all three colours. All three. 
That's what I would do. And I mean, I might, I might also have to stick in a bit of wildflower. You can only go for a green. three, though. You've, you've broken the rules of the game. I know. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, okay. So now I've dried it. Yep. And now spritz. Okay. And you'll see the pink come out. And then you keep drying. Can you see the pink? Mm, oh yeah, you can. So that's when you just keep. So you keep the, it keeps the stencil look and feel and do you know what if you don't want to spritz um the lady who before said can you use a paintbrush for yeah. finer detail yes so if you just wanted a little bit of detail around this floral here mm. just use a, a detailed paintbrush and dab that water on okay and it will stay so can, in that area and so get little accents really can't you That's yes you, you can, can if you want yeah. to or you can keep spritzing as i'm doing there and it'll keep releasing more color yeah. and the color will get more intense it really just depends what it is that you want to achieve i love the fact that you know you, you can just keep going back in keep drying keep going back in you yes can, you just like keep you going say, back keep going back and keep going back and if i vibrancy. just bring this in and show you this one with a dusk orchid mm. that's what happens with the oh, with the stencil there you go yeah. so you can see that was the purple and then the pink has been released from there mm. so yes that's as simple as it is with the stenciling absolutely brilliant as you've seen you've got stencils on the show for you as well we showed you that um, six piece set of stencils there's more there uh, do just you can search just stencils in the um, search box on the website to pick up more if there's something specific that you're looking for uh, Kirsty D says okay I was meant to just cherry pick but I ended up with the whole collection in the end Oops, uh, it's an Easter gift to me, says Kirsty D. That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. Great Easter gift, you know, you know, not uh, unlike an Easter egg, you're still gonna have it uh, at the end of next weekend, aren't you? You know, and there's no calories in it either. Um, I'll definitely be re-watching the show, says Pat, um, so many times. Thank you, Leanne. Catherine says, hi, Ben and Leanne. I've been watching Mesmerised. I didn't think that I needed any more ink pads, but dot, 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 dot. You're going to, aren't you, Catherine? You're going to. I know. Let us know. Are you going to go for the full showstopper? We just put the details up there. Or are you going to go for the individuals? Let us know. Uh, the showstopper is very, very popular. Of course, most stock in the showstopper quarter of the stock's gone um, so you can appreciate I think a lot of people have been watching a lot of people have been waiting wanting to see all the demos wanting to ask their questions and now they're diving in 84 pounds platinum 104 dollars and, and, and as I said for me this is brilliant because if you are looking for extra crafty bits and pieces which will help you get the best out of your color blooms then the showstopper is the best way to go because you're going to get that mixed media mat which Leanne's been using right throughout the show so again you know you can uh, craft away use these just like Leanne's doing uh, with the very same mixed media mat you've got your spritzes in there you've seen just how beneficial it ha is to have those to create those wonderful effects we give you four the watercolor cardstock as we've heard is the, the the cardstock of choice for these to get the very very best effects and then of course your blending tools always handy to have you know, if you've got these already always handy to have more is the, the kind of thing that you want to have multiples of we give you the round blending tool and then you're also going to get 10 of the replacement pads to go with it as well that should cost you an extra nearly 40 pounds or 48 dollars built into the price of the show stuff you're actually only paying 15 pounds or 20 dollars so it's a great way to go 84 pounds 104 dollars uh, and over a quarter of that stock has now gone the collection is available on its own though if you just want to do that and individuals if you want to pick and choose um jen smith says my creativity has been an overdrive since seeing these inks and janice says uh, being new to crafting i haven't yet progressed to color blending etc but this is definitely helping to dispel my fears i would say have no fear with these leanne right no fear at all you can do whatever you want with them and it's going to look fantastic yeah um, and remember the more eclectic and the less perfect it looks the better it looks because you've got that real lovely artistic movement of water in the background um, I just want to show you how you can do the water pickup technique with these mm. so I'm using a, a silicon mat and I've got a piece of watercolor card here and I'm just going to put the color down on the mat now um, I would do this on a glass mat usually but I'm working on my glass mat below so I'm just going to get quite a bit of color down because when I add the water to this uh, we're going to leave it for a little while and, and come back to it mm. and the reason for that is it's going to separate the colors to give us a more intense effect yeah. so I've got some of the ink down on there and then you can either spritz it which I've done there yeah. and that will start to move the color or you can um, drop it on Ooh. Okay. it's up to you 
okay and then you would just leave it for a while for that separation and color to start to work i can see some bits of pink coming out in here now so actually i'm just going to spritz this a little bit more because i might not have to wait carrie's just asking that's a good question will it stop moving with water at a certain point in time like if you had it on a bit of card and then came back to it i don't know two years down the line it wouldn't move right but it has got a lot of open time so that you can come back to it once it's dry okay. however when it's dry it isn't going to rub off on your hands no so it's dry and it isn't going to transfer mm. example this piece here that isn't transferring to my hand but if i add water on there the pink will release yes okay so i've got that on there now and then i've got a piece of cardstock and then what i would recommend you do is actually just spritz your cardstock to get it remember when we're doing water techniques it's a good idea to have a bit of moisture on your card yeah then you're going to dip it and dry it okay oops and it's always because a few people still asking about the cardstock watercolor cards watercolor card that's it. And actually, Ben, looking at this, the pink and the purple is mixing together too much. So it would have been a good idea for me to leave this longer for those colours to separate. Yeah. What you can see here, though, is some there, for example, some deep navy blue yeah. at the top there where my gun is pointing and some pink separating. Can you see that? So you can see the rivers of pink and the navy blue now. Yeah, absolutely. There you go. Mm -hmm see as we're doing that so this is why dipping it and drying it is a good thing to do because you'll start to build up all of those colors and effects um, as a background let me just turn that round it's very cool it's an effect that you're not going to get bored of seeing and um, the more you play and the the more you kind of um you know, we'll play with these, the, the more fun that you're going to have. And mm -hmm. you're just gonna create Look, you can the see the pink and the purple separating there. That looks fantastic, doesn't it? It's me with my heat gun. Oh, I wonder what that was. Um, <laughs> and then I'm just going to do another dip and pick. Yeah. Could you use photo paper with these ink pads, says Kathy? Uh, do you know what? We haven't tried that. Okay. Um, photo paper doesn't take water very well. Mm. So I would say these types of effects, probably not as impressive or even achievable on a photo paper. Yeah. Because you really do need something that absorbs water mm. and a photo paper doesn't Just very well. Yeah. Now, I'm hoping you can see here the difference between the big pops of purple, the blue, the pink rivers in there as yeah, well. Absolutely. You can see all of that's one colour of ink pad yeah. that's given me six different colors absolutely yeah there. yeah uh, and i can keep going so i can dip and dry the important thing is with this is to dry between every dip and that's how you'll pick up all of the texture and make beautiful backgrounds i mean imagine this with um a black floral fl silhouette oh, a flower absolutely. cut in black card silhouette just stuck over the top a fairy maybe um, if that's what you wanted, and a little sentiment. If you would do, if you bought the cosmic collection, some of the cosmic elements on top of this would look absolutely incredible. You can see there we've got navy blues, hot pinks, and purples, and all of the colours in between. And that is just from dipping and drying one ink pad. Like you said, from the colours I see on my screen, what you've got down there on that map looks nothing like the colours that you're achieving currently on the cardstock. No. Nope. And it's because of the water, the heat, the separation yeah. of the magic colour. Uh, it's so important to keep doing the drying because that's the result you get. Um, and that's like a really intense one that I've done there. But then if I bring in this board, that's a more subtle one. Yeah. Where there was more water and not so much ink. So you can see, same technique, two entirely different results. And every piece you do will be different every time. And just to reiterate again, because I know we talked about this earlier, but Carrie's asking, could you use two or more ink pads and blend those together to create multiple colours? So I've way? just got a little sample here to show yeah. you. Here you've got on this one here you've got let me just tell you uh this is dusk orchid ha. sorry this is um nebula yeah dusk orchid wildflower that's incredible and do you know what i can do that for you if you like Are you, so, shall we? After yeah, the break? i can show you after the break yeah you can use three colors to do that effect no problem at all okay uh, and one final one for now just from charlene you know um you keep going back in with the water card yeah is there a point where the water card would 
would, well, she's used the word warp. Is there a, is like an optimum amount of times so, you could go back in? Um, watercolour card will always move with mm. water, so take on some different shape. Once it's dry, just put it under something heavy yeah. uh, and leave it overnight, okay. and it'll be flat the next day. So mm. just a couple of heavy kukri books, something like that, uh, and it'll be flat. So don't worry about that. It's the watercolour card is designed to take water and technique in excess. Jewel says, I'm going to be saving this show to my Leanne folder so I can come back again and again and again. Leanne is the master, or maybe mistress, it says, of using ink pads of all <laughs> kinds. Yes, she is. The mistress of ink pads. Uh, Deborah Ziardi says, I've got my showstopper. Cannot wait to play with these new inks. Will be fun to pair with the masks and embossing folders that I recently bought. Yeah, Deborah, have fun. And as always, when you get these home and you start playing, send us pictures so that we can show them on Crafters TV. Tag us in your makes as well so we can uh, share your joy of um, using these. Uh, and Lynn says, well, Leanne is definitely selling these to me. Well, if Leanne has sold them to you, you need to get to the checkout because unbelievably, we've got less than half an hour on the show. It's flown over. When we come back, we'll have a look at uh, multiple pads, see how we can get the very best out of those uh, and answer your final few questions as well. Now's a good time to get those in. Uh, but listen, get to the checkout, uh, heading towards 30% of that showstopper gone, so go swiftly. And whilst you are checking it out, uh, let's hear from a, another mixed media wizard, uh, the one and only Sheena. My dad was a printer, which was the old, you know, the old letter set printer, the, the, the type, the old printer's type. So he used to bring home off cuts of card. And so I always had paper and card around me from as long as I can remember. He would donate bits of off cuts to the school I went to. And so it was always accessible. Um, my mum and dad bought me colouring products, art products, and you know, good quality art products, like adult quality art products. So I found I could draw from a really early age. So really between that and crafting, it's just been punctuating it all through my life. I think you can get inspiration from anywhere. Um, it's hard, there's never one source. It's from anywhere, it's from, it could be a crafting person, it could be a non-crafting person. It inspires me in different aspects, you know, it could be um, art, art, inspiration from artists, inspiration from crafters, or inspiration on just inspiring people. It's all about the viewers. If it wasn't for the viewers, then there is no purpose in what? Oh yeah, what am I doing it for? It's not about me, what I can do, it's about what I can inspire the viewers to do. And if I'm not inspiring them, then I'm not doing my job. So it's all about the viewers and it's all and keeping them um, interested, um, uh, fired up to give things new things a try. And mostly any blocks, anything that holds someone back is more confidence than ability. That's what I've found. So if I can inspire people and give them that little bit of confidence to give them the nudge, fantastic. I think the biggest achievement is keep doing what I'm doing for so long. Now, I remember, you know, when I first started, um, you know, when everything's new, um, it, can, it can just, you know, maybe the, um, the enthusiasm and the love for what you do might, might wane. But it hasn't, you know, here I am, as I said, 18 years further down the line, professionally crafting. And I think that's my greatest achievement is that I'm still loving it, doing it, enjoying it. And the feedback's been incredible from, you know, from the crafters and that's what I'm doing it for. So that I think is my greatest achievement and the feedback I'm still getting. Not many people know this, but I'm gonna share this now. Is when I lived in America and I was 19, my eyelashes turned white. So this is still, my hair colour. Oh, I'm getting on a bit now, but it's just a really natural hair colour. Dark hair colour, white eyelashes. I look like, um, you know, the John Wind Wyndham, um, you know, the, the Midwich Cuckoos. I look like one of those little alien people with me if I don't wear mascara. Underneath this, lily white eyelashes, go figure. I did worry for a while that I was going to turn white, you know, front emanate now from my eyes, which would have looked very strange to try and disguise for a bit. The Duet Colour Bloom Ink Pad Showstopper is proving very, very popular. £84 or $104 is your platinum price on this. And you're going to be getting all of those brand new 
Duet Color Bloom Ink Pads. All 12 of those, which we'll see with Leanne in more detail in just a second. The Showstopper brings you all the added extras. So for an extra £15 or $20 instead of £39 or $48, you're going to get your number 12 mixed media mat. You're going to get the four spray misters. You're also going to get the watercolor card and you're going to receive your round blending tool plus the 10 replacement heads to go with it as well. So everything for you to get the very best out of this collection. Big saving that you're making, even more so, of course, if you're platinum. Uh, but let's have a quick look at these with Leanne, um, just to remind ourselves uh, how these are going to work for us. They're incredible, Leanne. They really are fantastic, Ben. These are a magic ink pad which does all of the technique for you. What you can see on this board are the results from using one ink pad. So we've got that beautiful purple navy with the release of this beautiful magenta pink. The magenta pink releases when the base colour, the purple, is dry and then you apply water, the pink tone releases into any of the effects that you can see here. We've used them with glitter paste, we've done heat embossing, we've used them with stencils, with stamps, we've just swiped colour on and spritzed and four bleached, we've done the, the pick-up technique from the pad and we've used the embossing folder you can see there in the top corner. So many different things you can use these for and each one of the colours, Ben, wow, release wait different colours for you so you get amazing results the minute you use this ink pad. They are incredible. All 12 of the colours you're going to be receiving uh, within that collection. And again, the saving is huge. Uh, you're going to get the uh, platinum price, of course, uh, £84 or $104. And just to reiterate, uh, reiterate again, everything you're going to be receiving, all of those uh, brand new colours of your Colour Bloom ink pads, um, all 12 ink pads there, I was going to say all 12 colours, but you know many more than that, as you will see. Um, that you're going to get all of the different colours within each of those ink pads. Plus, on top of that, you get all of the added extras within the show stop up. So instead of paying uh, £39 or $48, you're only paying £15 or $20 for all of the other goodies. So you've got your uh, watercolour cardstock, which is the cardstock you need to be using with this to get the very best effects. You're also going to be receiving your spray misters, Again, four of those uh, just to help you uh, create the most stunning backgrounds with these ink pads. Plus, you're going to be getting your blending tool. Uh, you're getting the 10 replacement heads with that as well. And that mixed media mat too, the uh, number 12 mixed media mat. Again, a super handy tool to have at your disposal to get the very best out of this collection. The Showstopper coming in if you're platinum at £84 or $104 if you're in the US. All right, so uh, comments coming in. Um, Ness says this collection is amazing. Have you got it, Ness? Have you bought it? Uh, Charlene says, I did not think I could be more impressed than when the shimmer pads launched, but you have done it again. And Jacqueline Daniels says, I've just ordered the showstopper. I didn't want to work my extra day. I wanted to stay at home to watch this. If you've missed any of the show, don't forget you'll be able to watch it back over on YouTube, indeed over on CTV 24-7. This will be repeated, so plenty of opportunities to come back and watch again. All right, uh, 20 minutes left, Leanne. What are we going to do in that final 20? So we're going to have a look at how to mix the three colours together. I think you might like to oh, see that. Yes. And then once we've done that, we'll do it on the embossing folder for anybody who's just joined. Okay. And then after that, we can have a look and see whatever, whatever technique we fancy. Lovely. Okay, so I've got my three colours, Nebula, Dusk Orchid and Willow River. Mm -hmm. And I've got my blending brushes for each one to apply the colour. Now, you can go straight from the ink pad as well, should you wish to. So a couple of ways of doing it. Let me show you both. So I've just got my plain piece of watercolour card here. And then you can pick up your colour and just apply it with the brush. As I've done there. Mm -hmm. And then you would pick up your next colour and go alongside it. Okay. Get the lid off, there we go. Uh, so this one is Dusk Orchid. First one was Nebula. And any of our brushes and blending tools are fine to let any. us down with, aren't they? Yeah. Any, and even if you don't have ours, any you've got at home. Yeah. Yeah. However you apply your ink, just do that. Mm -hmm. uh, and you don't have to worry about it being too much of a, a it doesn't have to be a seamless join. You're just getting colour down. Okay. Right, nice. and then the final one. Below Actually, River, I want a bit that. more of that on there. Yeah. This is called the banging technique. I, like, I quite enjoy it, actually. Thank you. Um, any way of getting the ink on there. 
It's almost like you were tap dancing a little bit, like. <laughs> yeah. Let's put a bit of this on the end. Maybe I should have had a bit more green in there, but anyway, we yeah, get the that's idea. Fine. Okay, so we've got the three colours on there now, yeah. and then we have to dry it. It has mm -hmm. to be fully dry for the effect to work. And that's really important. When I say fully dry, I mean bone dry to the point where you touch it and no and ink comes off on your hand okay. or moves. So it has to be absolutely dry. And the reason for that is the colour that we're drying is set to the card. The magic colour encapsulated inside of it is encapsulated inside. And then that releases when you apply water. So if it's not bone dry, you're going to get a... A different colour will mix. The two colours will mix. The base, the colour that you can see and the colour that's held in between will mix into one colour, so it looks like one colour. Yeah. So the colour that you're setting onto the cardstock here, for example, with this one, when we did this, the orange had to be set for the pink to release. Otherwise, all I would have had is a shade of orange and pink mixed together and it would have looked like one colour. So for that to be really effective, then you have to have it dry for the different colours to release. OK. Um, Eva says, did Leanne do any letter... We haven't done letter pressing yet. We have used an embossing folder, haven't we? We're going to use them in an embossing folder, yes. Yeah. I, I think this is going to be one of those things. Obviously, uh, there'll be more shows with the colour blooms. I'm sure there'll be um, tons of shows coming up over the coming weeks with it. So, uh, again, anything we don't get to do in this two hours, um, no doubt our guys will be uh, attempting to do in the coming shows. So don't worry about that. So I'm just going to use a brush and I'm going to splash water. Okay. How long, now, if you weren't drying it, says Cathy, does it take to dry alone? It would take a couple of hours. Right, okay. So heat gun, heat gun essential. Heat gun is the way. And then when you've splashed water, dry. Okay. Now, you sh I'm hoping you can see here bright pink. Yeah, yeah. Coming out of that one. Yeah. Purple coming out of the turquoise yellow coming out of the green and then all the colours in between as they mix. Yeah, I can begin to see that now, particularly this end away from the bowl, the left hand side. And then there'll be a little bit of a blue and purple colour here as the three have gone together. So you can do subtle or you can do intense. It's entirely up to you. And actually, this that was purple before is now mainly pink because the colour is releasing. So they'll all morph and mix together. Um, and then if you do it on a more subtle basis, that's the kind of result you'll get. I've yeah. just put a lot more ink on. So it's whether you do a lot of ink or a little bit of ink. Now, what I will say with full bleaching with this, actually, and I'll probably show you that, now, normally when we're for bleaching, we'd say to you, blot the colour away. Mm -hmm. But if you blot it away, you take everything away. OK. So with for bleaching there, what I was doing is putting the water on and then drying the water to get that colour to mix and move. If I put water on and do that, I just get white cardstock underneath uh, because you blot away all of the colour. I'll just show you there. Oh, well, yeah. actually, that's gone green underneath. So, I mean, it's up to you. It's whatever, it's whatever you fancy. I would say, usually, I wouldn't say blot it away because you're not going to get the colour. But it just depends. I mean, look, that's gone all pale pink on there now. That looks a bit gorgeous, doesn't it? Mm. So it just depends what... And I'm hoping the monitors are showing you. It just depends on the effect you want. And you're going to get all of the different effects. So, yes, you can blend more than one colour together if that's what you'd like to do. Absolutely brilliant. Um, last chance saloon for those questions now. Um, we've got 15 minutes or so. Uh, we will announce as well who's going to win the goodie bag. We're doing one actually every launch this week. So do make sure you watch those shows. Check in, ask the questions tomorrow. We've got the uh, Arabian Nights and then, of course, on Wednesday, the Enchanted Oceans. Uh, we, we've heard, haven't we, the shoal proving, uh, proving very, very popular. Um, lots of colours, I think, that are going to work really nicely with that collection. I keep pointing over there because it's the other side of the camera. Um, so I think a lot of people picking out sort of twos and threes from this particular collection which they think is going to work really nicely with that set but if you love them all uh, now is a good opportunity to jump in and get that showstopper um, next up are we doing the embossing yeah. folder next yeah okay oh sorry I am oh. sending that through oh. to emboss I'm cleaning up I'm being a good girl 
Look at the state, look at the state of Leanne's desk. That is brilliant. Somebody's had some fun the last two hours. I know it's a mess, isn't it? I will tidy it up. I will tidy it up. Right. I was going to say you're back in later, but you're not, are you? No. Oh, so one show wonder. One show wonder today. Yeah. Right. So I have um, machine embossed a piece of watercolour card. Looks like my watercolour card was mucky. There we go. And then we're just going to choose the colour. Now, before, I did this with... Um, gosh. Just gawk it. Uh-huh. Now I'm going to do it with pink grapefruit. OK. See what it looks like. See how different it looks. Um, and I think that will show you how you can do it with different colours. I think it would also look really great in Wild, in Willow River as well, actually. So once you've got your heat embossed piece, you're going to take your ink pad and rub it over the surface. This is no pressure. Yeah. So I'm simply moving the ink pad over the surface, not applying any pressure at all. And I noticed you did this last time as well. So when we want to do this technique with an embossed piece of cardstock, this is the best way to go rather than using a blending tool as such, yeah? 100%. Yeah. Because the flat felt surface mm. just picks on the raised areas. OK. Which is what you want. Um, and doesn't pick up everywhere else. Okay, so that's good. I'm good with that. I think that's enough ink. And then what do we do? Uh, we dry. We dry it. And whilst you're drying, can you remember... Well, no, so you can remember. You, you, of course you will. Margaret's asking, could you uh, recommend again the colours to use with the Enchanted Ocean colour? I can. Enchanted Ocean, for me, I think you need... Yeah. Nay desperately absolutely have to have ne. are um shawl shawl yeah nebula mm -hmm. what's the other one we've just gawked oh um, yeah shawl nebula just got shall i bring them in and show you mm. i think you need shawl nebula just gawked mm. I think they're my three colours for that collection. Yeah. Willow River, you could add a bit of Willow, Willow River in if you wanted. Yeah. But my three definites would be Shawl, Nebula, Dusk Orchid. Yeah. And then because there are some beautiful hot pinks and oranges in that pad, uh, some beautiful mm. hot pinks and oranges, a bit of pink grapefruit up on me, granite. Pink grapefruit's lovely. Yeah, isn't it it's as lovely. Well. Mm. Pink grapefruit, Shawl, Nebula, Dusk Orchid. Four. Yeah. Just get them all. Um, who names the colours, says Jen. Um, awesome job. Love the colour names. Team effort. Oh, is it? And Catherine Wood says, Hi, Ben um, and Leanne. I've ordered four of these and a few other bits. Which four did you go for, Catherine? Uh, you also going to say, I won £25 on Craig's QVC preview. So thank you, Craig and CC. <laughs> Excited to start playing with these. Fab demos, Leanne. That's very generous of Craig, giving away his own cash. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Producer Johnny says he barely gets around and now he's giving away 25 quid. Wow, we, he, I don't know what happened there. He must have been in a good mood. <laughs> And then another question, that people asking about the process of making these. How long does it take from concept to presenting them to us, says Elizabeth Ratka? Oh, at least a year. At least a year. I was going to say longer than that, but yeah. It, I mean, if, we do, if we're working quick, it's a year. But if something really needs a lot of work, mm. it's a good 12 to 18 months. Wow. OK. OK, so we've got that dry now. So we can do a couple of different things. We can spritz. Mm -hmm. And that will release the pink. See that there? Or we can just take our paintbrush and we can dab in where we would like the pink to be released. It's entirely up to you. But then what you will keep doing is drying. So remember, you get that really intense colour and the effect of the pink coming out from the orange and from any colour releasing when you keep drying in between. And that's when you get those lovely watermark effects. Um, and then you get that lovely release of colour. So don't be tempted to keep going in one area all the time. Do what I'm doing, as you can see here, and then just choosing somewhere new and drying it. As much as I've enjoyed all of your demos, I've really enjoyed the ones that you showed with the embossing folder because I think these really do almost come into their own to sort of like they set do. A scene. 
And this could be any kind of geometric background that you're doing. Yeah. It could be. Um, it, it could be. It could be anything. It could be a texture. It can be an image like this. Um, you know, it's entirely your choice and your poison. And you can see that beautiful pink just releasing as I put the spritzer on there. And then I'm drying and chasing that around and that allows me to get those lovely water effects, that pink halo coming out of that beautiful hot orange that we've got in the background. And however you use these, be it with a stencil, an embossing folder, just as a technique. Can I just say this is drying more and more and I flip and love it. <laughs> that looks like a 1960s year, baby, yeah. yeah. It's Austin yes. Powers, that, isn't it? It's absolutely yeah, gorgeous. And I will say that as this as they dry, this is the one I did earlier, same colour palette. Um, as they dry, you will get more effects revealing themselves to you. You know, it'll keep moving a little bit if it's not fully dry. So what you can also do is just wet it and leave it and let yeah. it do its thing and come back to it. But again, like you said, if you do wet it and leave it and then come back to it an hour or so later you, and then you decide you want to do more, you can, right? Yeah, you can, absolutely. Yeah. And then when you get to this point, you think, you know what, I just want a bit more here. There's nothing to stop you going back in. Yeah. You can take your ink pad in, add more. But all you'll do is dry it. So that's the key. Every time you add more of the ink from the ink pad, you dry it. Um, and then that allows you to release that beautiful colour. Carrie's placed an order, all the colours Carrie's gone for. Can't wait to get them. And thank you for the speedy shipping to the USA. It is amazing. Still very speedy, aren't we? Three or four days, I think some people are receiving their goods, sometimes a little bit quicker. So yeah, enjoy Carrie, enjoy playing with these. And like you said, once you get them, play away, have fun, and make sure you tag us, um, particularly Leanne, in all of your makes on oh Facebook. Oh gosh, yes, so I love see to see them. Done. Yeah. Look at that. So add a little bit more. Can you see that intense pink there? Oh yeah, uh-huh. That's really, that's mm. absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just gonna dry that in. And I love the fact that it chases round and creates these little rivers of colour, which create little halos. It looks so artistic and beautiful, it, it really does. Um, and don't worry about chasing them because it gives you that lovely, very artistic, eclectic feel. And that's what you want with these. You don't want it to look perfect. Um, I mean, it looks perfect because it's gorgeous, but you know what I mean? It's not going to be pristine. Uh, and that's doing it with an embossing folder. And that was doing it with just a piece of paper on there. That was three colours together, oh. which might be my favourite, actually. Really um, And this was picking up colour from a mat which is great too. What I haven't shown you yet, and what you can do is self-stamp with them. Oh, so you can okay. ink up your stamps, and that looks absolutely great to have that explosion over the top. So, um, example, with this one, let's just get a stamp. So yeah. uh, if I just grab a stamp quickly, have I got time? I think, yeah, it's about. Um, grab a stamp and then I'll tidy up. I'm just gonna get a rocker block, bear with. Bear with, bear with, bear with. If you have commented on the show, by the way, we've got the name of the winner. I've got that uh, in front of me, which we'll do in just a few moments' time. So it could be you winning the goodie bag in just a few moments and also give you all of the sort of final details as to how you can pick up this collection. Um, you can still continue to buy after the show, don't forget. Uh, but do make sure you grab this collection today because we've got so much coming up uh, for the rest of the week. Brand new launches tomorrow. The Arabian Nights is here. And then the Enchanted Ocean comes to you Wednesday. So all those launching uh, this time, one o'clock. So what is that? Uh, 9 a.m. isn't it now, Eastern? 6 a.m. Pacific. So set your watches, set your alarms in the US to get up uh, to grab those deals. I'm very envious who, who, of whomever has got Enchanted Ocean. It's the fish. Mm -hmm. Had to be the fish. Yeah, she's got, it's a beautiful, yeah. beautiful collection. It really is. Uh, I'm just going to stamp this butterfly here off the page a little bit and you see you can get that yeah. lovely texture underneath can you just see that little butterfly there yeah absolutely there you go so, so you can do that and get that lovely kind of subtle um if it was a bit lighter in in the area you'd see it more so keep it off the page a little bit but you can ink and stamp with these as well and then what you can do when you've inked and stamped with them is go in with your spritzer mm -hmm. or your water uh, and that color will move and morph again yeah so you can see i can do that, and that colour will all change. You can see that little butterfly a little bit more there now when I heat it, it looks absolutely gorgeous. So just keep building up your texture, 
keep drying in between. Um, there's nothing you can do that's going to go wrong. Honestly, it's just always going to look amazing. And that's because you've got two colours and one ink pad, your base colour and your secret reveal colour when you apply water. First time you've seen it, isn't it? And you're absolutely loving it. So now is the time uh, to jump in, grab the deal, whatever you're going for, whether you're going whole hog or whether you're going, um, you know, just to grab a couple of these. We are now uh, just over 30% of that showstopper collection gone. Just to remind you, you get everything you're seeing just here. It's such a great bundle because we've um, hopefully made your money go a little bit further in terms of giving you items which will work really, really nicely with the Color Bloom collection. All 12 ink pads that Leanne's been showing you, you're going to get, of course, giving you the two different colours per pad. Isn't it lovely as well to show you that you can obviously, uh, you know, lay two, three of these down and create even more uh, different colours once you're adding your water to them. But you get all of those brand new ink pads and then we give you all the other goodies that you're seeing on your screen right now. So that is £39 or $48 worth for just £15 or $20 on top. So your blending tool, the circle with the replacement heads then you're going to get your misters included as well so you get the four of those and you're going to get your watercolor cardstock 15 sheets of watercolor cardstock and then the mixed media mat which is the one leanne has been using right throughout this show 84 pounds or 104 dollars is your platinum price there if you're of course in the us do make sure that you pop a few other items in maybe from the storage section on the website uh, ncm storage will be your code there but get yourself up to that free shipping threshold um, to, to get the very best out of your shopping cart just before i announce the winner of our goodie bag let's just have a look at some finished samples with the because there's some tremendous uh, finished samples here there really is some beautiful examples this one i love so that was that a subtle version of those three colors together and that was my yeah baby yeah, yeah version baby. of the, <laughs> those three colors together uh, which you can see love this because that shows you the nebula uh, sorry mm, anemone, anemone color palette with some real significant big drops of water on there and you can see that bloom of color that you get when you do that this i think is gorgeous because this shows you several of the different ink pads being used in that background to create this really eclectic look so that's not just using one color that's using several this one i love because this shows you the willow river and the pomegranate being used together to get that little orange glow around the outside of the butterfly there and then how the butterfly is being inked with two or three different colors and spritz to get the bloom of color that you get with color bloom in the background there this is just color it coloring in um, as it comes and this yeah. is wiping it over some black cardstock this here uh, sand back some cardstock wipe your ink pad over it colors that for you um, again just some beautiful uh, color bloom looks and feels here we've got some gilding and some gold marker pen putting some little rivers in the background there again just color and spritzing with some gold die cuts over the top and a little vellum sentiment this one i love look oh, that is yes. with a regular embossing folder that's using hellebore and pumpkin patch together to get that lovely interference of color in there okay. so you get all of the different colors again here stamp with them spritz with them if you want to use them with your stencils there are so many different ways of using these uh, ben and you're not going to be disappointed you're going to love every single thing that you do with them it's been a fantastic show thank you so much for watching everybody and hopefully you're going away now thanks to leanne with an armful of ideas alongside an armful of uh, brand new ink pads to try out as well uh, as we said when you've got them when you start using them do make sure you tag us in any makes and thank you for all the comments as well it's been a really fun interactive show um loads hundreds of comments actually coming through and um, we did promise we would give away a goodie bag and the goodie bag is going to someone on youtube and that someone is you Jen Smith, congratulations, Jen. You've won the goodie bag. As always, when you get it back, let us know what's in it because we have no clue. Uh, and we'd love to know what you've won. We genuinely don't know. CTV prizes at craftiscompanion.co.uk. Jen is what you need to email. Uh, send us your details, send us your address, and we will get your bag out to you. Leanne, thank you so much. A pleasure as always. And we'll catch you back here very soon, I guess. I hope so. Fingers crossed. I think I'm back in April sometime. So, um, yeah, I'll be back soon. Marvellous. What a show. Thank you to Leanne. I'll be back with you at five. Uh, we have got a one hour craft along with Lily. Until then, check out your baskets. You wouldn't want to miss these, would you? Bye for now. <laughs>